Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I wanted to use some makeup that I'm really excited about. Some new makeup from different collections, different new things, different brands. There are some things that are completely new to me. Well, one thing that is completely new to me that I am excited to share with you. And a few things that I just wanted to use again on camera that I just think are some amazing, exciting products right now. So let's get into it. So I already primed my eyelids. I think I'm gonna zoom you in just a little bit. Like, so I am gonna show you the new thing, the absolutely new thing. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get this, the Owens Eye Single Eyeshadows. Because I recently said in a video that I am not someone who really reaches for single eyeshadows. I kind of forget about them. But Owens Eye, it's like my favorite brand. And I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking, thinking about it a lot. I watched some videos. I was like, hmm don't think I need it. Then I watched the video that Laura May Beauty did and she really convinced me like the swatches, her descriptions and her favorites. It was all so detailed and she really showed me what I could get from these single eyeshadows. And I kind of felt like, well, it is my favorite brand. So I might want to give it a shot. So I'm just giving it a shot. I know that it could go like well or or it could go badly and I could forget these single eyeshadows. I recently also reviewed single eyeshadows that I had had for a year. And then I gave you updates on them. So that's kind of my thoughts on these. I'm just going to try one. I just want to try one. And I'm thinking about maybe trying this shade over here. That shade is called Isabella. And that is one of the multi-chrome shades. I have five multi-chrome shades and one like regular shade. Let me just quickly do a little bit of a swatch. I'm just such a fan of Odin's Eye eyeshadows. They just do such a good job. This one's very bronzy, bright green, yellow, pink. Like there are so many different shades in here. I think this looks really interesting. I just want to try it on the eye, but I first want to kind of build the crease. And I'm going to use the Fall Magic Eyeshadow Palette by Unearthly Cosmetics. I have had this for quite some time, but I feel like I'm not reaching into it enough for how much I actually like it. So I want to just build the crease with this. This is a bit like cheating because it's not new, like it's not remotely new, but it's just something that I want to use today. Uh, so we're doing it a little bit of everything. Let's see what brush I want to use. And I think I'm just going to keep it pretty simple. I think I'm going to go into the shade called Cacao. And I'm just going to start a bit with that. By the way, I don't think I'm going to insert any swatches in this video. I'm just going to play with makeup. And with most of these, I have some swatches. I have some videos. I have some dedicated videos. So I will link them down below so you can really see everything like close-ups the swatches first impression thoughts i'm just gonna blend this brown out a bit seems to have like a slight green undertone almost so that's gonna go well with the shadow that i picked it has been way too long since i last used this palette this matte is really nice I wish it were easier for me to like buy an Earthly Cosmetics because it's a brand that I really like. I like a lot of what they do, but the shipping right now to the Netherlands is just so high. It's like 50 euros or something like that or 40. That's just too much. So right now I'm taking a little break from Unearthly, but it's not because I don't want to use their stuff. I would love to try more of the makeup, but for now I just don't feel like it's worth it to pay that much for the shipping. Like I was eyeing the Valentine's box even. I couldn't have bought it with like my low buy and my rules and I wouldn't have felt like good buying it, but it was made much, much easier when I actually saw how much the shipping was. By the way, there's some background music. There's a band playing in the street. I hope you can't hear it too much. I'm gonna try to kind of fix it in like post-production. See if I can kind of edit it away if you hear it. Uh, sorry about that. I believe it's a band of pirates, like a music band dressed as pirates. Like, they come around here sometimes, but they're pretty loud. Okay, I'm gonna use this shade. And I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. 
I just wanted to keep the crease really simple to see, to really keep the focus on this multi-chrome. Okay, it pulls more of the pink red right now. Like what I see right now is more pink red, orangey, really cool, like really bright. I really like it, but seeing it in the pan, I was thinking maybe a bit more of the green would come out and that would like match really well with what I have in the crease. Okay, just doing the same on the on the other eye. I did buy these single eyeshadows that I chose from Odin's eye. I bought them with like spring summer in mind. They are very like spring summery shades to me, like very sunny. And that is kind of how <laughs> Lauren also sold them to me. I'm gonna blend this out just little bit. Okay, I do have some fallout, but I'm gonna fix that later. Okay, that's gotten kind of dramatic. Mm, let me think what I want to do, because I also have this kind of like iridescent shade. I could put a little bit of that in the inner corner. This one is the shade Lola, I believe, and this is also a multi-chrome. Yes, it's the M. 001. So this is what that looks like. Very bright. I see green. I see purple. Oh, that is really cool. Is it gonna fit this look? I don't know. But I think I'm gonna apply just a little bit and see how I feel about it. I just want to try it out. I just want to see how I feel about it. Just taking a little bit on the pencil brush. Okay, the green really pops. Like, I can see a lot of green there. Okay, I think that looks really cute. Can you see that green shine? I really like it. I think now I'm just gonna add some things quickly from the Fall Magic palette. I don't think I'm really gonna describe it. I'm just gonna do it and fast forward so we can get to the new stuff. Okay, so this is the eye look. I clean on my eyes a little bit as well. I put on some mascara. I didn't do my brows yet. I'm gonna do that after the bronzer because sometimes I kind of mess up my eyebrows with my bronzer. So for the bronzer, I already kind of used these in a video, but I wanted to try something. So in the video, I used the Be Perfect bronzer in the shade Sand, and I also got the Shape Stick Bronze and Define in the shade Maple, which I hadn't used in a video. Then I used this recently, and I just felt like this is the most cool toned most contrary shade that i have owned in my life so i kind of wanted to mix these two together and see how i like that and kind of make up my mind a little bit more about these formulas when i use this i just felt like it looked kind of gray on me which i usually don't really struggle with because cool tones really work on me so i just wanted to see like see how kind of gray that is i just wanted to see how I can like make this work for me. If this works for me, is it too gray? That is kind of the question. So just gonna blend it out and see how I feel. Like I feel like it blends out really like pretty easily. Like, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. Does it look too harsh on me? Too gray? Or is it fine? I think this would be amazing for really light skin tones and really cool skin tones. And also it's really a good shade for contour if you are looking for a really gray type of contour. So that is the shape stick blended out. I didn't really apply it as like a very structured contour. I don't feel like that really fits my face shape. I kind of applied it as a sort of shaping bronzer which i quite like but now i kind of want to mix it in with the bronzer which is a bit more warm this tone and see like how i like them together uh, this packaging is sometimes a little bit hard to open so this is the bronzer not extremely warm but just a little bit more warm and i'm just gonna dip in it like one and a half times and mix them mix them together okay i'm actually really into this i actually think that looks great. Like these are both really easy to blend. And I just love cream products that are so easy to apply that they're basically like a powder. But then they blend into the skin and make your skin look very like natural and glowy like a cream product. Okay, I'm apply a bit on the forehead and I decided to not like put the cool tone over there. But I might try that out later and just see how i feel about that all right the bronze is done and 
I like it. I like it a lot. I think this looks great. Like I'm growing really fond of these products. And now for the next step. I want to try the All Over Glow Tint by Catrice under my blush. In my first impression, I put it on top of my blush, but I kind of feel like I'm gonna like it a lot under the blush. Like it's a technique that I like to do sometimes when I really want to blend in the highlighter. So I'm just gonna apply this. I think that looks really nice. It's a bit of a natural product, but you can like build it up, which I enjoy. I think it would also be nice as kind of like a base, a base for a powder highlight, which I might try today. I'm just gonna see how I feel after I've applied the blush, because I'm also gonna use a cream blush. It does give me a little bit like Charlotte Tilbury vibes, but a little bit more natural. All right, that is looking good. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead, I think. like so and now for the blush well i might try another blush as well but first up i want to try the catrice cheek lift or i keep reading cheek lift i don't know why it's cheek flirt i'm like mixing up the letters cheek flirt face stick and rock and rose i tried this in my catrice video today i want to kind of like pick it up like this and see how i like that application style see if I feel like that blends better or like what I prefer, but I feel like this is such an easy product to work with and I really like the finish that it has. It's just so natural and I feel like it's the right shade for me, like it really blends in to my skin. But they also have like a brighter pink and a peach if you like something a little bit deeper, but it's not like because it's a light pink that it's not going to be pigmented enough, which I really like. I think this might be my preferred application method. It is working like very well. It's looking really good. It's working very well. Nothing is lifting up. Nothing is looking weird. I just love the glow that this gives as well. And just the way all of these cream products are blending in together right now. I like it. Especially this cheek. This cheek is working out really well. Like This is always my kind of like trouble cheek because I have some like acne scarring over there. All right, the blush is on. I think it's looking really nice. And what I kind of, I want to put a little bit of this blush on top. The Revolution Pro Luster Blusher in White Rose. I used to have another one of these in a coral shade that was way too pigmented for me so i decided to grab this it was on sale and i just kind of went for it i think this is gonna be a much better shade for me than the bright coral but i'm curious to see if like the pigment is gonna be like what i like so i'm just gonna dip in once and apply a little bit on top it's a bit cool toned i feel for the eyeshadow okay it does add some glow it adds a little bit of a cool toned pink to the cheek this one is way more cool toned this definitely is a rosy cheek do you see that just dipping in once this is just a formula that i really liked just the pigment of that coral shade it just didn't work out for me okay i think that is looking really good i think i'm gonna leave the cheeks like this i just really like how blended everything looks like it looks really like seamless like it looks good i like it okay i'm gonna do my brows off camera and then we can apply the lipstick all right so this is a look so far i really love how these cheeks look i really love how the eyeshadows by odin's eye look everything so far but of course most of these things i already tried and i wasn't expecting any less from odin's eye but everything so far is really working out well and i'm really enjoying this look um i just applied a lip liner by colourpop which is called the lippy pencil in ashton to kind of like structure the lips a little bit and to hopefully make the lip pull a little bit more brown because i want to use the powerful love dual lip color by kiki milano and this is the shade 03 powerful mauve so it's gonna pull a little bit mauve but i think it's gonna be okay with this look and this lip product it has a little bit of an interesting shape for the application i just really want to try this again because i only lip swatched it in the video 
but I really want to like see how it works. All right, so I really love this combination, like this lip liner with this lipstick. Very nice. I think that looks great. I almost don't want to put on the gloss, but I think I'm going to put on the gloss just a little bit because I just want to try like the full product. It is kind of like a small one, so you don't like have the option to put on a lot at once. That I just, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to put on a lot. I just want to have like a subtle glow, a subtle like hint of gloss because I also I'm gonna film another video after this and sometimes when I put on like really glossy products it's like moving around too much when I talk a lot so I'm gonna keep it at this all right so this is gonna be the finished look I'm really really happy with how it came out the shine the creamy cheeks the lip everything is just so nice and yeah just really excited about these products still very excited like they didn't disappoint me trying them again okay this is gonna be everything for today's video thanks so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and let me know which of these products you are the most excited about or which one did you like the most and then i will see you in my next video bye bye Ooh.